Hello everyone, hello subscribers and friends and whoever decides to drop on by these videos. I'm actually about to hop on Scholar of the First Sin right now this very second after, well not this very second because I'm in the middle of doing a video right now, but after this I'm about to hop on it. I got it for two bucks um, for trading it in or trading in Rainbow Six Siege to GameStop because I do not enjoy Twitch shooters too much. Anyway, so, Dancer of the Burrito Valley. Um, I am really sorry that I haven't been doing Dark Souls videos lately. There's just a lot of other stuff I wanted to cover and do. I know I switch back and forth between series a lot. Uh, a lot. Uh, so I'll try to finish, you know, if I'm working on a series like this, where a, there's a definite beginning and end, I'll try to make sure I'll finish that. Um, so right now, my experience with Dark Souls 3, I'm on uh, New Game Plus, the first New Game Plus, you know, Journey 2, uh, and a lot of these bosses that I'm actually getting help on, I've been trying my very darndest to complete them on my own. I'm not at the Dancer yet, I'm going to try to beat the Dancer on my own, I beat, uh, um, I beat uh, Osiris, I think, on my own. I don't really understand how that works. Oh yeah, I deleted one of my profiles. Uh, so I defeated Osiris on my own. I defeated um, Watcher, uh, Abyss Watchers on my own for the first time ever. I did not think that I would ever do that. Uh, Pawn of Sullivan is way too fucking brutal for me to defeat on my own right now. Gonna have to get a lot more practice with him. But anyway, let's talk about the Dancer of the Burrito Valley. Uh, one of the most elegant boss fights uh, I've ever I've ever uh, encountered in the Dark Souls uh, series. She has got a lot of really interesting moves. She can be terrifying because of how slow she seems. Um, you know, she just spends a lot of time wandering around, and you know, you think that you've got a lot of openings, but then she unleashes seven spinning blade whirls in a row and if you are not on the edge of the map you're gonna get shat on super hardcore uh, so you gotta be real careful with the dancer you gotta dance with her you gotta do a little bit of a waltz in order to make it out alive uh, so yeah dancer is definitely I wouldn't say I'd say a little bit above middle of the road as far as difficulty goes but I personally am not too good I mean, I'm better than the average Dark Souls player, I think. I'm pretty good at PvP when it comes to people who are my level. Uh, I, I win more than I lose. Uh, I've won a few two-on-one, you know, two people trying to freaking rush me um, battles. Uh, I think right there I was waiting for a third player, but the guy never showed up. So we just went in and hacked it out. Uh, Osiris... I think that would be how you'd pronounce it. Oh, Cyrus. Yeah, yeah. There's just the the EI that's kind of throwing me off. But Osiris is not a very memorable boss um, besides his backstory. He's pretty average. He's just a big monster thing that has a staff and tries to hit you with it. Um, I mean, I don't know. I mean, he's got his own special stuff. Like, he'll fly around the map sometimes. He'll spin his tail around, he'll do some frost damage, and things like that. But, I don't know, he's just not that interesting of a boss, in my opinion, I think. And he's definitely one of the easiest bosses for me, personally. Um, now that I've actually decided to go back and, and do 1v1 with him without any help, he's a really easy boss. The only thing memorable about him is, like I said, his backstory, his lore. He's constantly talking about his lost child, and he's blind, and he, you know, is a mutant dragon man, um, and he's scaleless and all that stuff. So he's a really uh, interesting boss story-wise. But as far as challenge goes and what he does, he's pretty boring. Um, so. Let me know if you had trouble with any of these bosses, if you want to make a comment or a like or anything like that. Uh, which of these two do you prefer over the other? And other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you will stop by for the next two bosses. See you guys later.